Hi, I'm Sukun. I'm Mika. I'm Pedro. And I'm Ethan, representing Florida's 7th District in the 2018 Congressional App Challenge. While most of us have never directly experienced abuse or mental illness, the Pew Research Center estimates that as many as 1 in 14 children are at risk of domestic violence. Our group recognizes that in most cases, the problem isn't that victims don't have the resources to speak up, but instead that their voice gets drowned out by social and cultural pressures. We decided to create a social network to address this issue, which not only encourages victims to confront their insecurities, but also provides them with a medium to openly share their experiences with the rest of the world. Simply boot up the app, which is compatible across Android, iOS, or your standard web browser. Register a new account and configure your profile, or choose to enter incognito mode where your username and account details are completely hidden. Once you've set up your account, start off by subscribing to communities, or as we call them, safe spaces, tailored around what challenges you're currently going through. The homepage features posts from other community members sorted by date of creation, time, and popularity. As their users make a commitment to recover from their mental and emotional trauma, they can read other users' personal stories, and even leave comments or direct message fellow victims. On top of our automatic AI filter and a report button, each user is assigned a unique role in their community. Active members can be allotted moderator privileges, where they're able to please over anything that slips through the first filters. Eventually, when a user feels comfortable enough to share their own experiences, they can create a thread using our What's You See is What You Get editor. From then on, the poster matriculates through the community and is sorted according to the number of parts, comments, and its state of creation. Fulker was developed in a LAMP stack which uses Linux as the operating system, Apache for hosting, MySQL for database management, and PHP for programming. For backend development, we were using the Laravel framework. The rest of the front end was developed in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We used Bootstrap 3 for the front end framework as it provides us with a variety of design options. When it comes to mobile, we were using the Java for Android and Swift for iOS respectively to connect it to the web interface. In the future, as we continue building our support network, we want to research more scientifically how we can specialize the UI to best address the needs of mental health victims. We plan on implementing a mood tracker feature, which will convert daily feedback from the user into automatically generated reports analyzing the progress towards recovery. Thanks for listening. We're looking forward to taking Fulcra to the next step.